Hi friends, we are finally at Vienna. More than two years since COVID. First time we are here, but compared to Estonia, here we have to wear masks all the time. And you have certain restrictions in place. That is number of people that are admitted and everything. But yes, you can enjoy. And today we are heading to, this is Vienna. Post Bahnhof, that is Central Railway Station. And we are heading to Budapest, that is Hungary, the capital of Hungary. And our train is going to leave in next five minutes. It's quite comfortable. You can take a train from here to go to. Rail, oh, sorry, the airport, Vienna Airport, and a lot of other cities in Europe. Even there are some night trains which you can catch. Yeah, and this is our, as you see, the train to Budapest. So yeah, here is where we will go in to the train and see you. So this is the train Budapest Kaleti. Yes. Looks like they also have a Wi-Fi on board, so that's nice. See you. Bye bye. Hi friends, as I mentioned, we started our journey from Vienna. Central railway station that is Hoftbahnhof towards Budapest Central Park. And the train has left at quarter to nine in the morning and it will reach Budapest Central Railway Station at eleven twenty. So it's approximately two hours. 30 minutes of journey. It's quite comfortable train. You have these kinds of things to eat your stuff. You have the dustbin. And though I don't see yes. And you have also some charging points that you can make use of to use your laptop or you can also charge your mobile and USB port and your suits and other stuff. And you also have uh, with this, the toilets to go, the fresh rooms. That's all. So, hope to see you soon. Then, take care. And you also have a Wi-Fi on board. Though I'm not tried to connect it, but I will. Take care. See you. Hello friends, thank you for joining us today. But uh, as you know that we are traveling from Vienna to Brati, uh, sorry, Budapest. And uh, we had some problem in the train. And we had to change the train, take a bus, came in another train and again one more change of train. Uh, we have had some storm in Hungary and that's why a lot of interruptions in various travels but finally we are on the main train and it's taking us to the city center almost two hours later and we were in a like very interesting station called a Stata which every Indian would know and I thought I would show you this nice little train from Hungary where people are relaxed and hoping to get back to their final destination thank you very much see you soon with next updates from budapest see you hi friends finally we reached budapest and we have taken an underground metro to reach our hotel and this seems to be an automated metro underground metro 
in Budapest because at least this side doesn't, doesn't have. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah. And this side doesn't have uh, any of the bits for that side. So, yeah. Karen, sit here. This is Metro Line M4 to Kalatikara Uber. It's a nice music, opera. Yeah. We'll show you more updates soon. Thank you very much. See you. Hi friends, finally we are getting close to our hotel and we are here near this famous bridge of Budapest. So other side is Pest as they say, even though it is P-E-S-T, it is pronounced as Pest and this side is Buda and the bridge connected them, it is called as Budapest. The story goes like this, that the man worked the other side there and his house was this side and uh, when he went to work uh, somehow before this bridge was built he couldn't travel back home when his mother passed away that day he had to miss her funeral and he was so frustrated that he thought that he should build a solution and the solution of this problem was nothing except this spectacular bridge and so today you can travel and cross from Buda to Pest no matter what is the weather or how heavy the current or the flow is so we can see some trams straddling down there and it's a beautiful view over the river Danube which flows all the way from Austria till here and further ahead. I hope you enjoyed this session and we will update you soon with some more updates and interesting things about Budapest. See you soon. Bye and take care. Good evening friends, finally we have made it to the Parliament House, one of the most spectacular buildings or architectures, neo-gothic architectures in whole of European Union and one of the biggest Parliament buildings in the world, which can be kind of a replication of Westminster at London and it's a wonderful sight at night. Rather than me doing talking, you can enjoy the view yourself and marvel at this creation. Well, at the same time, I can hear the final match of football today between England and Italy, the Euro Cup. And people are enjoying watching and cheering up. And just on the other side, we are on the west side, but uh, on the other side, that is Buddha side, there is a river and also a wonderful view, which you can have a look and enjoy even at this time. So the 
this is a wonderful view again from the tram the parliament Hungarian parliament the current president Viktor Orban who is ruling their populist party right now what a wonderful sight an amazing sight of the past glory of Hungary which is also quite a melting pot of different cultures and a very vivid history and background of different people the Jewish the gypsies and a lot more this is the metro quite sorry the tram quite old style but you also have a connecting metro station here from where you can take an underground metro to connect to different parts of city here you can ideally use the public transportation uh, without taking any private connections or hiring a car or anything and the best thing to do is to buy this kind of a ticket which is a 24 hour ticket which is approximately 1650 florins approximately 4.6 euros which is valid for 24 hours and you can use unlimited for all types of trams buses metro and even the ferries so it's a very good value for money and you can travel like a local and this is again some beautiful view here so we are on the best side and the other side what you see is Buddha so it is called as Buddha Pest. So both sides were connected by the bridges. The first one was built approximately 200 years ago and then these sides were connected and the city was called Budapest. So if you are visiting let's say Vienna it's very convenient to travel here as we travel here from Vienna that is you take a train and you are here in two and a half hours so quite convenient so at this stop you have hot thermal baths uh, as they say you dig anywhere in Hungary and you will find hot springs and these are natural mineral hot springs quite uh, healthy and therapeutic so it's very nice to experience them see you soon